hey there i hope you guys are doing great so today in this video we are going to see what is a label encoder and how we can apply it for categorical columns so label encoder is nothing but it is a tool that is provided by sklearn it is a class which encodes the target labels with value between 0 and n minus 1 number of classes so what does that mean so it means say for example there are n unique values in a column if i take for example embarked so there are say for example q s and say c so there are three unique values so it will encode these starting from 0 to n minus 1 n here will be 3 so 3 minus 1 so 0 1 2 in this way it will label these classes these unique values so that is how we label encode the categorical columns into numerical columns because we want to make the data ready for the machine learning model and to perform analysis it is very much required to encode the categorical values so now let us see with the demo how this works so starting with calling the label encoder library how we can import it so we can import it using the sklearn pre-processing import label encoder so we will import from sklearn pre-processing import label encoder and then we'll execute it and then we will call this particular class this is label encoder class and we will call it and we will execute it simply calling it with open close parenthesis and then we want to apply this particular encoder on say for example we take this categorical column which is embarked we just talked about so before that we just need to see how many unique values just for our understanding we will just check so we see that there are three unique values we just discussed so q s c so there are three three unique values so it should label encoded using 0 1 and 2 like that we can map it manually also using a dictionary but this is a much better and automated way of doing it and for example uh, we want to label encode say 10 12 class so in those scenarios we can label encode it very efficiently with uh, very less manual work and there are way many other uh, useful tools also available in label encoder we can save this as a vectorizer or a featureizer as a pickle file and we can reuse it for our production data generally what happens is in the courses and in the uh, the videos i have seen that they teach in such a manner that uh, the, the on the back of the mind the the student or the uh, data analyst doesn't knows how to uh, go ahead with the production level uh, pre-processing so i will tell you because uh, the problem is that they do uh, the complete data frame uh, first they will label encode it and then they will do the split into train and test but in real scenario uh, it, it is not the right practice you should first uh, label encode it and after fitting the label encoder it creates a metadata it creates a kind of dictionary and that dictionary is being saved as a featureizer uh, and then that can be picked up again for the production data or the batch data for which we have to do the production because uh, uh, the production data should also be label encoded in the same manner uh, in the way that training data was label encoded so that is a very critical and important key thing in productionizing any machine learning model so i just wanted to tell you that because these things are not being told practically so this is quite a uh, useful thing so let's move forward so now i want to fit this encoder since i have already called a class i will fit this for this particular column so point number one it can be applied for only categorical columns point number two it can be applied for numerical columns but the number of columns in in data science practically should not be more than 10 or 12 or otherwise you have to find another way of doing it because it doesn't make much sense so in those scenarios you need to use other techniques like uh, tfidf or uh, any nltk uh, libraries i will talk about that in later but for now 
you can go ahead with this okay so i'll just fit this encoder with this df embark and now my label encoder metadata is ready so this is nothing but just a dictionary which is mapping these unique values with some numbers from 0 to n in that order 0 1 2 okay now we are going to see what are the classes so there is a classes named function in encoder and this can be utilized just to know the one we used for unique we can use classes to know our encoder carries how many unique values so it carries cqs so these unique values this is quite similar for this so just for understanding this is sometimes useful in automating the processes so uh, now we are going to do the actual transformation of our data so what i'll do is i'll type encoder dot transform so that will transform my variable the one that i want to transform with the metadata that i created using fit command and now i will save it in the same column that is i replace the existing column embarked with the encoded values if i if i execute it individually just to for understanding just to see how it performs it will give me a array of all the encoded values and you can see this gives me a complete array like 1 2 0 2 2 2 like this and so this will happen and in the same order it will map with the respective rows if i save it in this column so i'm replacing this embarked column with the encoded values and i execute it and i check for the top five rows and i get my embarked values which are encoded now this is a very cool feature but for example just for one more understanding because there are few features there are few functions which are very much utilized and can be useful so i just wanted to uh, show that, that there is a in inverse transform function which does the inverse of this particular uh, encoder so i create one more uh, original embarked uh, column so this will tell us what is the inverse value of the respective uh, row values of embarked okay so i'll just execute it and my bad yeah and you see that i get the original embark the value which was there originally and to the value which has been encoded so this is how we can use this inverse transform function now this can be useful in various places like if you want to do testing of your encoding or you want to check what has been done for the particular uh, values of the uh, categorical column so this way you can utilize this particular function so this is all about encoder with label encoder of sklearn preprocessing i'll upload more videos regarding preprocessing data science data analytics please do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye